You didn't see me shoot the duck, but um, I just blasted a nice duck. It took me a few shots to hit him. It's funny, this is actually my first duck in two years since we moved down from Alaska. In Alaska, I shot ducks all the time. So we're gonna do a catch, clean, cook for you guys. Oh uh, yeah, let's get him. The boat didn't have a paddle, so I had to use redneck paddle. Just a mink martin board right here. Got this um cute duck here. No band. Um, but yeah, we'll do a catch clean cook for you guys. Alright guys, so um we're back here. Um we're at my grandpa's house, so hopefully the cars aren't um too like noisy in the background. Um so yeah, we got this um coot duck here. And, um, or otherwise known as a mud head. A lot of people say, um, they don't taste good, but I've never tried them, so I just saw the duck and I had to let him have it. So, yeah, we're gonna um, cook them up for you guys, do a catch and cook. So, let's get started. Alright, guys, so, um, we're just gonna start by this. And, um, I'm gonna take my knife right here. I'm just gonna, ta I'm just gonna take, um, some feathers away. I'm gonna grab the skin and I'm just gonna put it, like, right there. I'm super happy about getting this duck because um, I really hadn't um, I didn't really didn't know what to upload today, and I'm liking uploading every day. Um, it's pretty nice since I didn't have much time when I was in school. Um, so yeah, I just didn't know what to upload today. Shot this duck, and I'm like, there's a video. So let's get into this. Um, so we're just gonna skin along the breast. And I don't know how we'll cook it yet. We'll figure that out when we bring them inside. Um, but yeah, then you can just peel away the skin here. And I personally take the breast meat and the um legs. A lot of people will just leave the legs. I mean, that's all right, but they've got meat on them, so might as well take them. So, just gonna... Just gonna skin it out now, pretty much. And save these feathers, guys, because um, you can use these on predator sets. It really makes it look the set look better to the whatever you're trying to ch um, ch catch. I would recommend this if you're trying to catch a bobcat to scatter a bunch of feathers around it. And look at that pretty green foot on them. And, guys, if you didn't notice already, these, um, cute, or mud ducks have, like, a way different, um, a way different pad on the bottom of it. It's, like, not like a normal duck pad where they're webbed in between. I, maybe it's something for diving, I'm not All sure. Right, um, so we're just gonna take our knife, um, and we're just gonna cut along this. Make sure you don't cut too wide. And then we're just gonna cut to the bottom of it. If you guys watch the dove, how to um, clean a dove, you would see. Um, I'm just doing basically the same thing that I would on a dove. I'm just gonna cut this around. Right here. And then as you can see, um, there's one breast done. Not too big. I don't know what we'll do with that. Maybe fry that one. I'm not sure. But we're going to just do the same thing on this other one. And we're just going to kind of cut around 
I'm interested to try this because I I've eaten mallard and goose and all this that stuff but I'm interested to try um, this kind of duck because this coot or uh, mud hen because I've never gotten one and be cool to try I once did try a merganser, and um, it wasn't as bad as people said it was. So there's two breasts, and then we're just gonna take off the legs here. We're just gonna skin it down. And that's just super easy to get off this part of them. So you basically just take your thumb right here and work it down to the end, and then just pull it off, and then pull back up here there's actually a lot of meat on these legs I don't know why people um, take it off I mean you can do what you want but so we're just gonna work these off like so then you see back here might have to make that one black and white i'll just flip it over um as you can see right here we'll just work we're just working this back to back here and then we're just gonna cut right here and then i'm gonna lift that up and i popped that joint as you could see here there's the joint and then i'm just gonna cut right along there and then of course you you'd want to take this part off that's a pretty cool green little foot there but then you got all that meat, so we'll do that to the other one, and we'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen here, and um, I'm going to do it um, a few ways. Just since this is a mud duck, I'm going to see which way is the best way a, to cook a coot. So I'm going to do one leg and one breast fried, and one leg and one breast on the grill with some seasoning and stuff. So I just got some egg yolk, and I'll just put the breast in there, and then I'll take it. Put it in the flour here. Do one more coat. And that's good. Same thing with the leg. And then put it on here and then we'll uh, get some seasonings for um, the other ones and we'll see which one is best so stick with us all right guys so um here's the duck right here we're just going to be using salt olive oil because they don't have a lot of fat and uh, garlic powder and salt like i said so we're just going to take the um, olive oil just put it over it because these really don't have a lot of fat, so you want to just get them nicely with olive oil. Like that. Alright, so now we're just going to put the pepper on top. Salt. And some garlic powder. I did the same seasoning on the other one too. I'm just going to flip it over and do garlic powder because it has enough salt on the one side right. you can use onion powder too and yeah so we're gonna go and fire out the stove and the grill all right guys we got our legs here got our oil and we're just gonna put it on in here 
in this pan and um, we'll let it fry for a bit. We'll fire up the um, grill and we'll go start so, grilling. Um, got the grill here, pretty hot. Um, we're just gonna take our duck, put it on. We'll get a spatula and start flipping it because you don't want it to stick to, to it. Um, just kind of flip it around. So yeah, guys, see you in a minute. All right, guys, so um, we got this. This one's the grill one, this one's the fried one. Um, so we're just gonna cut it open, make sure it's done. That looks good. Check the leg, looks good. This one looks good, we already cut that one open. Get some bite-sized pieces from this. So you guys, we're gonna give this, um, I think I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison taste test just to make sure um, just to check just to tell you guys which way is better because I want to show you guys which way is better so um I'm gonna try this one first tastes like duck if you didn't know duck usually tastes like duck I mean it's good yeah it's a good one now let's try the fr the um, grilled one. Mmm. Mmm. Grilled one is the best. But we'll try the legs. But the grilled one's more tender too. Um, it's just got more flavor. It's kind of uh, got more of a crusty flavor. It's got more seasonings in it. I like um, the grilled one a lot better. All right, so um, here's the fried one. We're gonna just give this one a taste test. Let's cool down. This one tastes better than the breast fried. It's still great tasting, tastes like squirrel, but I still do like um, the grilled one better. So we'll give the grilled this, this one a bit better. Or a taste test. Still much better. And that's why you never want to chew too hard. Pellets in them. So you guys, this one's better. It's really about you um, trying it. And even though these things have a bad reputation, you know, know they're pretty good. I would um, recommend this grilled one. I just used um, um, salt, um, pepper, and uh, and garlic powder on it. And um, I prefer the grilled one, but it's really up to you guys. Give it a taste test if you shoot a coot. Um, yeah, they're good even though they have a bad reputation. See you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to smash like. Hit subscribe and comment down below. It helps a lot. See you on the next video. Peace.